everyone. Welcome back to Faith and Flower. This is Robin and in today's video I've got a week's worth of homemaking inspiration for you. So there is cooking, cleaning, organizing, and even decorating. So if you need some homemaking inspiration you've come to the right place. I'm going to start off with the recipes. I've got three for you that I think you're gonna really love. One of them is new and the other two are sort of family tried and true favorites. But before we get started, I want to thank you for clicking on this video and for supporting my channel. I say it all the time. We have an amazing group of subscribers here at Faith and Flower and you can meet them down in the comment section. There's a lot of encouragement that goes on there and I really appreciate that. My goal for 2022 is to reach 100,000 subscribers and you can help by subscribing if you like this video. And if you know anyone who could use some encouragement, please share this video. Thank you so much for taking Faith and Flower to over 90,000 subscribers. Let's continue to grow our community and share some uplifting homemaking inspiration here on YouTube. I will put the full recipes down in the description box for everything that I'm making here today. And I want to thank ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video and I will tell you a little bit more about them later. This first recipe is for lemon and artichoke chicken. And this is such an elegant meal, but you won't believe how easy it is. My friend made this for our Bible study group and everybody was asking for the recipe. It is out of this world delicious and so easy. You make it all in one skillet. In a large oven safe skillet, you just saute some onions or shallots in a little bit of butter. And once they are translucent, you can add in some canned artichokes, capers, and lemon juice. Lay some bone in chicken thighs on top and add a pat of butter. Pop that in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes and that's it. baking I just wanted to make a very simple spinach salad I do this all the time and lots of times I like to add whatever fruit I have on hand so today it was grapefruit and this paired really well with the chicken and I thought it was a delicious side This dish is so full of flavor. It's a great way to treat your family and it's the perfect recipe to serve to guests. And I promise you they're gonna be asking for the recipe too. ButcherBox is the sponsor of today's video and they are my favorite source for high quality meats. They have delicious 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork raised that's crate-free, and wild-caught seafood. Where we live, it is impossible to find comparable meats at the prices that they offer, and they deliver for free. Everything is frozen at the peak of freshness and arrives in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. You can choose the box option and delivery frequencies that fit your needs, and you can cancel at any time with no penalty. When you use my link in the description box, new members get free bacon for life. That's one pack of uncured, unbelievably delicious bacon added to every box for the life of your membership. If you've been curious about ButcherBox, now is a great time to give them a try because their bacon is definitely the best quality and best tasting bacon we've ever tried. And we have been 100% satisfied with everything we've received from ButcherBox. I really cannot beat their prices or their quality at any local store. So definitely check them out and use the link down in the description box. next recipe is for buffalo chicken wings. This recipe came from my aunt and uncle. They are absolutely hands down the best. <laughs> I've never had them at a restaurant any better than this and it's another really surprisingly easy recipe. 
Whenever we are traveling between Texas and North Carolina, we make a stop in Birmingham to see our family there, and they treat us like royalty. And on our last visit, my Aunt Susan and Uncle Evan shared these chicken wings with us, and of course I had to get the recipe. We've made them several times since then, and it is completely foolproof, and they are just falling off the bone tender and full of flavor. Just add a bottle of your favorite buffalo wing sauce to your chicken wings in an oven safe baking dish, cover tightly with aluminum foil, and then bake for about an hour and 15 minutes. My oven only took about an hour at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, I moved them to a baking tray and broiled them just for a couple of minutes to get them a little bit crispy on the outside. You could also do them on a grill. These would be great for any summer gathering. You can actually do them ahead of time and then grill them at the last minute. They will be a crowd pleaser for sure. This recipe is by Rachel Ray. It's for cowboy spaghetti, and I switch it up just a little bit, but I pretty much stick to her recipe. I just switch out the spaghetti for some elbow pasta. I just like the way that works, and this has been a huge favorite with my boys and their friends. It's something that I could make and be sure that they were going to completely inhale whenever they came over, and it's a great thing to take to a potluck. As a matter of fact, I have a potluck to go to this week and this is what I'm taking. All of these recipes are gluten-free and all I had to do for this one is swap out the pasta. So this one's a great one to take along if you know someone who needs to eat gluten-free. This I'm sure they're going to love and everybody else won't even know the difference. I think one of the secret ingredients to this recipe is the bacon. It just really sends the flavor over the top. Whenever I'm sharing recipes, I always get a lot of questions about my cookware. My cookware is by Caraway and I love it. I've only had it for about three months, but it is performing as if it were brand new and I use it every single day. The non-toxic non-stick coating is amazing. It works so well and cleans up like a dream. I also love that it's oven safe and it works for any type of cooktop. We got an induction cooktop when we moved into our new home and it works great on that. It is also perfect for gas or electric. So if you are in the market for some new cookware, you can check out my link down in the description box and get 10% off your order. Another ingredient that Rachel Ray likes to add, especially to ground beef dishes, is what I'm gonna call the W sauce. <laughs> so you know what it is, I'm putting it on the screen. I get comments every time I say it because I know I probably pronounce it incorrectly, but the funny thing is, is that everybody's pronunciation doesn't agree. So on my channel from now on, I'm gonna call it the W sauce, and you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. If I have fresh spinach on hand, I will put that in too. It's not part of the original recipe, but it does not change the flavor, and it's a great way to sneak in some extra nutrients. Usually the kids don't even realize it's there.
video, you saw that we moved Peyton's old bedroom furniture back in his room and this dresser came out and in the meantime, it's been sitting in our living room while I try to figure out what I wanna do with it. I still really wanna use it, I just can't decide where. So I spent some time one afternoon rearranging our living room furniture to see if I could make it work in here. The seating in this room isn't what we plan to keep in here. We have some furniture on order. It's not gonna be here until October at the earliest. So we're making these other pieces work and they'll get relocated probably in Patrick's office later on. But that green hutch and the bookcase where the TV sits will stay and possibly in that location. But in any case, we had everything pushed to the center of the room and I like that. But I just felt like maybe I could improve upon things and even use this dresser. And as you can see, I had some help in the beginning, but that can get old when I'm indecisive like I tend to be. So I switched things around a couple different ways using some chair pads under the furniture so that I could try it out myself. After all of that, I decided that I liked the way things were originally. It just felt cozier. I felt like the seating was a little far from the TV and it was just kind of an awkward arrangement. The dresser just didn't look like it was going to work and of course that could change when we get the new furniture and of course some art on the walls would be great. <laughs> but I don't want to commit to that until we do have the furniture that we plan to keep in here. So I quickly put everything back and it really helped solidify, um, you know, this arrangement in my mind so I'm really happy with it and we'll stick with this until the new things arrive. Let me know in the comment section if you are the type of person that enjoys rearranging the furniture in your home. I have some friends who can change things up regularly. I am not that good at it. <laughs> I tend to get an idea in my head and if it works, I stick with it. But in our new home, I feel like there are lots of things that I could do. And I actually wound up trying the dresser in this little nook of our entryway. I initially thought it might work here, but then Patrick pointed out that it might block the side lights to the door so I decided just to give it a try and see and it actually really works and he liked it too so he helped me hang a mirror and I had a little fun decorating everything I used to decorate we already had so the mirror actually came from not the previous home but the home before that and we just never had a place to hang it the gold isn't really my favorite so I'm not sure if I might do something with that you guys can let me know in the comments what you think I had this beautiful blue vase that was a gift from my parents. This candle was actually made by Peyton and Aiden over at Big, which is Brookwood in Georgetown. And I will put their shop down in the description box so you guys can check that out. The tray was a gift from my sister. I think she got that at World Market. The plate is a Majolica sunflower plate reproduction that was a wedding gift. I found the seagrass plant basket on Amazon and the faux hydrangeas came from Hobby Lobby. I'm excited that this works so that I have a place to decorate in our entryway, but also because it gives us some extra dining room storage, which is going to be so convenient once our dining room table arrives. got 
gone around to switching out the shower head in Peyton's bathroom for a handheld one. I found that on Amazon along with a tension bar shower rod. <laughs> so we had a really nice rod that the previous owners left behind, um, but I think the reason why they never installed it was because it didn't fit the space and it would have been a little bit tricky to drill it into the tile. So we went with the tension rod and I found one that had really good reviews on Amazon. In our last home, our boys each had their own bathroom and I got the same shower curtain for both. I really like this one, so I'm happy to put it back up in here and now I have a backup. It's just a washable cloth shower curtain liner that I like to use. It came from Target and the shower curtain did too. I just really like the texture of it. It's washable. Even though it's white, it gets completely clean every time I wash it. It shrinks just a little bit when I wash it, but it seems like the steam from the shower just gets the wrinkles out and it kind of stretches back out after a couple of uses and I really like it here in this bathroom too. The biggest project of the week was cleaning and organizing our garage, also known as the hangar. <laughs> so this was probably one of the biggest selling features of this property for us. We have an Airstream RV and we love to use it and we like to protect it and keep it covered when we're not. So it fits perfectly in here along with our cars and we have neglected this space while we were renovating our house and living in our Airstream out here. So it was time to get busy and get things cleaned up. Typically the garage is the man's domain and Patrick's not really an exception to that. So he did most of the sorting and decluttering and organizing while I cleaned all of the spaces. in groups and then we had piles for donating and for trash and then once we had an idea of where we wanted everything to go we put everything back up on the shelves and eventually we have a plan to move these shelves to a different part of the garage and maybe get some nice containers to make everything look great but now that we've done this and we have things grouped together we'll be able to see you know how many and what size containers we'll need so we made a lot of progress in here Inside, we were ready to put the finishing touches on my office area and the pantry. Patrick finished the shiplap and the window in my office to match the area in the pantry right next door. And then we decided to go with a paint color that probably looks a lot like white <laughs> on your screen, but it is a very, very light aqua color. It's actually called Frothy Surf from Bear, which we got at Home Depot. And I picked a eggshell finish, so it's a little bit cleanable, and I think it's gonna work really great in both of these spaces. And then I had a little fun getting things back into the spaces and not really decorating, but at least getting them um, completely functional now. And so these areas are finished.
hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration for getting dinner on the table this week, whether it be for your family or for entertaining friends. And I hope that you got a little bit of homemaking motivation to either do some cleaning, decluttering, or even a little bit of decorating in your home. Even if you are not moving into a new home and decorating for the first time, it can be a lot of fun to see what you can do to make a space just a little bit better or a little bit refreshed for a new season. I so appreciate you spending your time with me here today. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful week.